Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm here to share my Quran learning experience here so that at least a single person might make benefit out of it. So uh, to speak of my background, I'm from a very um, uh, uh, family with a very moderate uh, religious outlook. So I was not forced into or I was not, uh, you know, I was not able to get a proper religious education during my childhood. Uh, I had not attended to any madrasa or something like that. I've just been two months. So I was not, I was unable to read Arabic properly uh, all these years. So the thing is like, uh, I was stammering like anything. I was not able to make uh, much out of it. So I was uh, relying on the translations of Quran and uh, getting a mere understanding of that same. And I was uh, listening to a lot of lectures, which is available on YouTube. Then some of my friends also helped. So this was my understanding of Quran till a year ago. So what happened is like I uh, some some of my friends and uh, family members used to ask me to attend a program called Profcon, but I was kind I was always you know kind of lazy about that and I, I never attended any of those until last year. So last year's Profcon, which was held at Palakkad in Kerala, I attended that program. And I was going on to, I was, uh, you know, dozing off very often. And the uh, all those volunteers all were helping uh, all, helping me stay awake all those time. So what happened is, I, uh, I was thinking like, I had listened to lectures better than this. I mean, I had like, uh, listened to their speeches in, a, in, in my own pace. Uh, so what is so great about this program? I was thinking like that, but it was a good experience as a whole. Then what happened is the magic that happened then was uh, I don't remember that brother's name. He recited Quran on stage, and I had no clue which surah was that or what is he reciting. I don't know the meaning even nothing. I don't uh, know what. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me because I'm totally a big zero in uh, Arabic as a language. So, but somehow uh, listening to that recitations. Uh, my eyes turned wet and I, I, I was, I was, I, even without my own knowledge, I was crying. So some magic happened then. So once I uh, was returning from that program, I, I had something in my mind I, that I have decided to learn Quran, but I had no clue what or how. I just made a dua, maybe, I don't know whether I uh, did or I had that intention in my heart, but somehow Allah has listened to that and he May it gave me an idea about that. Quran as a word is mean meant to be recited, or it's 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 something like a not like a book, more like a recitation. So this made this gave me an idea and made a break. So I I I decided to learn Quran by listening because we all know that we often listen to music that is in Spanish or French or some other language which we have no grip at all or we have no clue, but we we get to know the lines. So just like that, I decided to learn Quran by listening to it. So uh, I was looking for an app that will help me out with it. So this is that particular app, Listen and Learn Quran. And in this we have the reciters list. And uh, uh, this is my favorite uh, reciter. And uh, all 30 surahs is available here. 30 surahs, just, just Amma is available in this uh, with this particular reciter. And it gives you an ample pace. I'll I'll just uh, open one of those. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, so this is one app that helped me with it. Uh, it gives you an ample pace. It gives you uh, like uh, after the main reciter, the children will follow it. So that you get an ample pace to catch up with it, to learn with it. The next one is Quran English translation, like word by word meaning. So this one will give you a proper understanding, like a word by word meaning is provided so that you get a better grip on it. So once one ayah is completed and the next one is somehow we will be able to connect it uh, so that we don't uh, miss out the lines. So this also helps and you once you're reciting, you will have the meaning in your heart. Uh, that That is another... Uh, app that I would like to suggest. It's Quran English, word by word meaning. Just search with it uh, on Play Store. And Listen and Learn Quran is another one. The next thing is about Bayina TV. Bayina TV is a venture by Norman Ali Khan, a famous scholar. 
and his lectures are simply awesome i must say that you must listen to this lectures it's very very awesome it gives you the one of the best best explanations possible i mean available uh, one of the best explanations available to us like uh, he gives you the word by word meaning the root word meaning so the uh, possibly to me i think it's the one of the one of the best kind of explanations possible which is which is available to us and he gives uh, in this particular we get uh, on his lectures he addresses different topics so uh, that is another important or uh, one of the key uh, players in my learning once i was learning quran the, his lectures have helped me a lot and uh, all 30 uh, surahs in juz amma is available for free i mean the explanations are available for, for free so it gives you the historical context it gives you the word by word meaning it gives you the uh, context of each ayah and its connections with other surahs so while you're listening to his lectures you'll just simply get an idea that quran is not something that can be made by a human human brain or human logic it's impossible it's simply the living miracle and that gets very very clear for you so uh this is uh, this was my journey into quran uh, i was i was hardly knowing about six surahs a year ago uh it didn't took me a whole year to learn whatever i've learned it was uh, maybe like uh, three or four months maximum that too in my sp uh, spare time free hours once i'm traveling and all that i was listening to this so it was much more comfortable you know i was ta taking up in my own pace it's easy it's quite very easy you would you would just realize the wonders once you're listening to it, it because allah has made quran easy for us to learn so once you uh, begin your journey you'll find it very very easy then again and uh, i had uh, started another thing too i tried to often i uh, feel that i had never had uh, once i was listening to his lectures and all that i clearly got a picture that i had not learned quran at all because uh, in the translations the meaning that is embedded in each ayah is uh, you know not even a fraction of a, a thousand fraction is not conveyed in the translations so it's better that you resort to his lectures that so that we have he he, uh, he and his team has gone through lots of lectures lots of explanations and uh, he's just consolidating that into his lectures so i tried uh, creating a uh, the channel which your uh, uh, youtube channel that uh, translates his lectures into malayalam because i'm a malayali and uh, often my you know grandparents and all are not well versed in english so i'd like to uh, you know give them a taste of what's quran because all their lives they might have read quran without knowing much or without knowing uh, anything any meaning of it or uh, so in order to support that i i just created this particular channel and i tried uh, some of sura, some of those surahs with an animation and animation illustration all that so i tried my best with it uh, to you know translate i have translated yeah, i don't know if we can call it so but uh, i'm i made an attempt like that so uh, just just that just for my own satisfaction that i'm doing something because uh, allah had given me that that opportunity so i am responsible for that so uh, that is my this particular channel if you like it uh, please do share among your friends if if you find my lectures or uh, i mean sorry i'm absolutely sorry uh, if you find his lectures my mere very weak translation in any way helpful please do share it with your family share it uh, with whomever who might benefit out of it please do share it thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh